I know that the most conservative of all conservative principles is being faithful to the Constitution. And you have to choose in this race between someone who has been faithful to the Constitution, who will be faithful, and Donald Trump, who it's not just us predicting how he will act. We watched what he did after the last election. We watched what he did on January 6th. Um, and so uh, coming to this as someone who's been a lifelong Republican, a lifelong conservative, um, also as someone who spent, I spent time working overseas before I was elected to Congress. And I've, I've spent time working in countries where people aren't free and where people are struggling for their freedom. And I know how, how quickly democracies can unravel. Um, and I know that as Americans, we um, can become accustomed to thinking, well, we don't have to worry about that here. Um, but I, I tell you, again, as someone who um, has seen firsthand uh, how quickly it can happen, um, that that is what's on the ballot. It's absolutely what's on the ballot. I also, uh, I come to this decision uh, as a mother. I have five children. And uh, there was a moment right after January 6th when my husband and I were having dinner with our two youngest, our two sons. And I looked across the table at my, my young sons, and I thought to myself, you know, in the aftermath of the attack on the Capitol, are they going to grow up in a country where we don't have to worry about the peaceful transfer of power? Are they going to grow up in a country where that is guaranteed? And, and I believe that every one of us in this election has a duty and an obligation to do what we know is right for the country, uh, and that's to support Vice President Harris. I hope everyone does really understand that we represent something, imperfect though we certainly are, flawed though we may be. We represent, in terms of our ideals, the, the, the basis of our Constitution, we represent a gold standard. And when we have someone who has been president, who wants to be president again, who is saying he would be dictator on day one, would weaponize our Department of Justice, one of the principles of our democracy is that we say we have a justice system that is blind, that is not punitive against one's enemies. They are watching. So this is about direct impact on the American people and it most certainly will impact people around the world.